And I was just like, you know what? It's just us. It's really just us. Like, why the hell not? What is the harm in it? Like, it's not like he can show his friends or something like that. And I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do it. Like, I did it. I did exactly what he said. I showed him my dates. Let's see if I'm in focus. Let's see if I'm in focus. That's always a challenge with this thing. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Well, y'all, what's Gucci, y'all? What's good? Um, it's been a minute. We're not gonna talk about it. <laughs> I had a okay. So yeah, this is gonna be a little story time about the time where I had a crush, and my crush was peer pressuring me into flashing him. Right? Okay, so <laughs> I'm 20 years old. I'm only probably like 15, 14, 15, around that age, right? This, this is the joke. This is the whole joke about it. I was so naive, I guess. So I didn't really think like this, but it was a Christian camp I had went to. Yeah, a Christian camp. So I went to a Christian camp. So I'm expecting everybody there to be holy and everything, you know, like nobody even thinks about these bad stuff. I was young. Forgive me, I was naive, oblivious to what really be going on in the world. <laughs> apparently, apparently old dude had a, a crush on me or whatever. He thought I was cute. And I, I heard this, like word of mouth, somebody had told me this. I never really paid attention to dude. Like, I was like, okay, I'm here for the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm here to have fun. I'm here for the Lord. I never really looked twice at dude. But when I, when I heard about it, I, was, I opened my eyes. I was like, oh, he's cute. He's a little cute. Um... So yeah, um, camp was over though. So I heard about it kind of like, I think the last day or like when we're going home on the bus. Or, I was like, okay, let me see something. Yeah, I think I got his Instagram or something. And at that time, Kick was popping. Everybody who knows Kick knows Kick was popping. Everybody was on Kick. So I was like, hmm, let me add his Kick too. <laughs> I was stupid. I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't know why I did that. Hey, you know what? Don't judge me. So I was like, let me just add this kick too. Like, I wanted to see like what was going on. Like, what is this a fluke? You know, he ended up talking a little bit on kick, right? <laughs> and at that time, bro, I was I swear to you, like you're a Christian, so we might as well get married and you know we gonna be together forever. You gonna wait for me? You gonna wait for marriage? You know what I'm saying? Like all that, all that, like all that jazz, like all that. Rainbow and fluffy Care Bear stuff. I believed in it wholeheartedly. I was like, yes, like this is gonna be my husband. Like after I think like a few, few conversations, I was already thinking like that. Now this is how I was when I was younger. I think he started sending like you know little selfies and like captioning them. Like you know how you do it on Snapchat, but that was what he was doing on Kick. So I think we start getting a little comfortable with each other. You feel know I me? Mean? Like not comfortable, but like. He starts sending stuff to me, sexual stuff. Not of him, don't get it twisted. Like, memes. Like, this is a mood, and it would have, like, you know, a girl and a guy laying up together, or like doing some crap together. And I was just like, huh? Arf? Like, what's going on? Why did we just swerve to the left? Like, why did we just do that? We took a hard right, bro. But I think I was trying to, like, dub it, like hardcore dub it, I, he was respecting it. I say respecting because we're going to get to the T. Uh, but he was just saying, okay, okay, like, da -da -da -da, like, you're not with it, okay, like, I won't send you stuff like this. And I was like, you know, I was, I was still feeling him. Dumb as I am, I was still feeling him, you know what I'm saying? Like, stuff like that didn't really, like, red flag me at the time, okay? So we still was like talking and I had told, you know, my sister, my cousin about it, like, oh yeah, you know, he got a little, I'm just talking to him. Guess what though? He lives all the way in New Jersey. He's talking about, come link me. Mind you, I'm like 15. What the hell are you talking about? How am I supposed to get over there? He's like, meet me halfway. I'm like, shut the hell up. You know what I'm saying? Like, what are you talking about? That was a red flag. 
even though I didn't want to believe it, I was just like, huh? Like, what do you mean come link you? Come to my house. Come to, what are you talking about? So I was like, um, mm, okay. So yeah, this is what we're dealing with right now. Like, really? You're supposed to be, like, in my head, I'm like, you're supposed to be a Christian. Like, you're supposed to, you're supposed to only want me for pure things. <laughs> Psych, boy. It was what it was, honestly. I didn't really, like, it didn't really trigger me as much. I was just like, you know, when I'm ever in an uncomfortable situation, I just like laugh it off. I'm like, hmm, okay, and like, no, huh. And um, that was what was happening. So he did that multiple times. Like, come link me, like, da da da. I'm like, no, I'm not gonna come link you. Like, what the hell? Besides all that, though, I'm thinking it's romantic. Um, the Mayo. How is that freaking romantic? He's saying he will come link me. He, him saying like he will come link me made it romantic, but him saying come link him to his house, that was what made it unromantic. If you understand what I'm saying, because you know, okay, girl to girl, you know, like not it's not always the case, but you know what guys want when they tell you to come come link. Like, yeah, we're not dumb. Let's be real, okay? <laughs> you want to Netflix and chill? Stop it! I'm not like that. So, yeah, so I was just like, nah, like, I'm not going to do that. I literally low-key found it romantic. I was like, oh, like, he's welcome in New Jersey and he wants to come see me. That was like, it was like a constant battle in my head between dumb Demai and smart Demai. Like, I'm dumb. I'm really dumb. But it doesn't matter. I was I was young, okay? I'm, I'm I wised up a lot, actually, a lot. I don't know how long it is that we've been, like, conversing with each other and, like, talking on kick and stuff like that. And we end up, I think we end up Uvoing or Skyping. I don't know what was popular at that time, but we end up doing that as well. So we was getting like comfortable, I'm telling you, comfortable, comfortable, comfortable. We were doing that and we was talking. Homeboy said to you, girl, let me see your tits. What? <laughs> Bro, what I tell you, I wanted to like scream, laugh in his face and be like, what? What are you talking about? And, and I was like, huh? What? What are you talking about? Wait, what? This is this is what we're talking about right now. This is what we this is what you're gonna do to me? This is really what you're gonna do to me after all this time? Like you're just gonna hit me with the <gasps> Show me your tits. What? Okay. Okay. So that was the first time that he had like even said it in a conversation. I was just like, I was so taken aback. I think I had started laughing and like, you know, nervous laughter, like, <laughs> what, what? Like, come on, like, I won't tell nobody. Like, I really, I'm not gonna do nothing. Like, it could just be between us. And I was like, <laughs> no, no, no. Like, what? So, I think that was that. But yo, I'm telling you time and time and time and time and time and time again, like, it would come up and it was starting to get me aggravated. So I was just like, okay, you know what? You keep asking for it. And I was just like, you know what? It's just us. It's really just us. Like, why the hell not? What is the harm in it? Like, it's not like he can show his friends or something like that. And I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do it. Like, I did it. I did exactly what he said, I showed him my dates. Oh, I'm lying. The exact words he said, I remember it now. He was like, show me your nipples. I was naive. I was just oblivious. And I was like, you know what? I like you. I like, yeah, I guess I liked him. I trust you. And I'm just, what? Can possibly go wrong, so I was just like, you know what, I'm gonna just do it. Like, yeah, so I just I did what he said. Jeez, your body. This is exactly what I did to shut him up. I was looking at him on the camera like the last time he asked me. I was like, okay, you know what? You want to see them so badly? Like, I'm gonna just do it. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you. Something. I left the camera, went, got a piece of paper wrote on it and did this. What the hell? Look, this is what he this is what he wanted, right? 
I swear this is what he wanted to see. He wanted to see my nipples. So this is what he got. My nipples. My nipples. Yeah. Yeah, he got my nipples on a piece of paper. Like what the heck? Like, what do you think? Listen, ladies, alright? And the funny thing is, let me finish my story before I, I start spilling like my whole my whole rant. Funny thing is, I did that. <laughs> he laughed or something, and I was like, no, I'm not gonna do it. Like, what do you what do you really think this is? I don't know how many days or weeks or a week later, like we was never together or anything. We were talking or whatever, I don't whatever you call it. But I go on his Instagram or my, my cousin goes on his Instagram, shows me a picture of him kissing some girl. <laughs> don't you love that? Don't you love that? Don't you love that? Don't you love that? Like I love that. I love that. I love that. So my 15 year old heart was broken. Um, I don't know how long we were talking for a couple weeks, three weeks, I don't know. But it felt like he was gonna be my Prince Charming at the time, you know. I, I told y'all I was so into like the romantic. I thought he's gonna be the book, but you know, I see a picture of some shorty on your, your Instagram and y'all kissing. No, 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 I should tell her. But you know what? I just let it go. I ended up like cutting it off that same day I found out. It was a whole mess, honestly, I could keep going, but you know what the, the point of it is? Like, it didn't matter how young I was, yeah, sure, I was naive about certain stuff, but I knew I respected myself enough not to give in to peer pressure, you feel me? Screen, he could have taken a screenshot for all I know and sent it everywhere, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is how girls get themselves into situations like this. They don't really think about the consequences, and they think, like, yo, I could trust this boy, and you know, like, I, I, I could... I can trust him with my private stuff, like, no, e -e. nah, there's so many different stories about girls who get exposed, like, and you, they don't even know the guy for that long, you feel me, it's like, a, like, a label doesn't define how pure or innocent, how, how good somebody is, you know what I'm saying, like, it doesn't matter, because at that time I was thinking, yo, he's a Christian, he's gonna treat me right, no, like, it, it's not always about that crystal, Christian label doesn't always mean everything. It means stuff to me, but that doesn't really mean that other people take it the same way. Nah, I literally learned from that whole story. I was just like, you know, ah, 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 you played me, ah, 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 got you. So, if you're a girl and you're dealing with some boy who, like, you, you see the signs, like, yo, come over, you feel me? Like, let's link, like, you don't even know him like that. He's sending you sexual stuff. He's peer pressuring you to, to send news or send something, you know, send me a booty pic, you know, send me, send me some cheeks. Stay strong. Know your worth. Know what you are worth. You don't need to deal with that. Y'all know, like, yeah, this happens to Demaya. It does. Like, we're not all, we're not all peachy clean, and this happened. Like, that was the one major, like, thing that happened when I was young that kind of, like, shaped how I view things in this generation. Like, damn, this really happens. Like, oh, word. Oh, shoot. Okay. Yeah, so if you guys like this video, please leave a thumbs up. If you guys want another story time like this, I mean, it doesn't happen. This was like the only time. So if you guys want another story time, let me know. Um, I would not hesitate to give it to y'all. And your please subscribe, comment down below if you had any similar stories like this. If you gave in, if you regret it, you know. Just share with me, because I, mean, I share with y'all. I'm not naked, y'all. Please, please. <laughs> But yeah, like, I like telling y'all stuff like this. I like letting it out. I like to see, like, if you guys can relate to me and yours. So, I'm LJ. Peace.